This story that I've chosen is called The Little Old Lady Who Was Not Afraid of Anything. And it's written by Linda Williams and illustrated by Megan Lloyd. Now, this little old lady's not afraid of anything. But you might find that there's some scary stuff in the story. Once upon a time, there was a little old lady who was not afraid of anything. One windy afternoon, the little old lady left her cottage and went for a walk in the forest to collect herbs and spices, nuts and seeds. She walked so long and so far that it started to get dark. There was only a sliver of moon shining through the night. The little old lady started to walk home. Suddenly she stopped. Right in the middle of the path were two big shoes and the shoes went clonk, clonk. Get out of my way, you two big shoes. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady. On she walked down the path. But behind her she could hear two shoes go clonk. Clonk. A little farther down the road, the little old lady stumbled into a pair of pants, and the pants went wiggle wiggle. Get out of my way, you pair of pants. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and she walked on. But behind her, she could hear. Two shoes go clomp, clomp, and one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle. Farther still, the little old lady bumped into a shirt, and the shirt went shake, shake. Get out of my way, you silly shirt. I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady, and on she walked. A little bit faster, but behind her, she could hear. Two shoes go clomp, clomp. One pair of shoe pants go wiggle wiggle and one shirt go shake shake. A little ways on, the little old lady came upon two white gloves and a tall black hat and the gloves went clack clack and the hat went nod nod. Get out of my way, you two white gloves and you tall black hat. I'm not afraid of you, she said. And on she walked just a little bit faster, but behind her she could hear. Two shoes go clomp, clomp, one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, one shirt go shake, shake. Two gloves go clack, clack, and one hat go nod, nod. By now, the little old lady was walking at quite a fast pace. She was very near her cottage when she was startled by a very huge, very orange, very scary pumpkin head. And the head went... Boom! Boom! This time the little old lady did not stop to talk. She did not stop at all. She ran! But behind her she could hear two shoes go clomp clomp, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, one shirt go shake shake, two gloves go clack clack, one hat go nod nod and one scary pumpkin head go boo! Boo! The little old lady did not look back. She ran as fast as she could and didn't stop to catch her breath until she was safe inside her cottage with the door locked. She sat in her chair by the fire and she rocked and she rocked. It was so quiet in her cottage before the knock knock on the door. Should she answer it? Well, she was not afraid of anything, so she went to the door. Two shoes go clomp clomp, one pair of pants go wiggle wiggle, one shirt go shake shake, two gloves go clack clack, one hat go nod nod, and one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo. 
I'm not afraid of you, said the little old lady bravely. What do you want anyway? We've come to scare you. You can't scare me, said the little old lady. Then what's to become of us? The pumpkin head suddenly looked unhappy. I have an idea, said the little old lady. She whispered into the pumpkin's ear. The pumpkin head nodded. Its face seemed to brighten. The little old lady said, good night, closed the door and whistled her way to bed. The next morning, she woke up early. She went to her window and looked out into her garden. And what do you think she saw? Two shoes go clomp, clomp, one pair of pants go wiggle, wiggle, one shirt goes shake, shake, two gloves go clack, clack, one hat go nod, nod, and one scary pumpkin head go boo, boo, and scare all the crows away. It wasn't scary after all, was it? Thanks for listening.